Welcome back. We are at day five of the 10 day chess challenge. We're approaching the halfway mark and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do presenting it to you. Um, today we're going to do the calculation exercise a little bit different. I'm going to take an example from the VisualWise program. Now what the VisualWise program does is it takes a position and it shows you a few moves that were made in the position but it uses arrows so it doesn't actually move the pieces and then what you must do is you must visualize those moves in your mind and then try to find the tactic in that position that was reached after the shown moves so let me show you an example how it works when I click start you can see the white rook went there and then black played his rook there okay so you have to visualize these moves imagine the white rooks on this square and the black rook is on that square I'll play it once more that you can see the moves the rook went there the black rook went there okay so now visualize that position in your mind and then use your calculation process in that position and see if you can find a tactic for white you can pause the video to do that okay so let's talk through this quickly the white rook is now on f3 and the black rook is on f7 so first of all you had to find all the threats and uh, black didn't have any serious threats against us so uh, we could go on to the second step which is to find the targets now the black rook on f7 would be a target because we're already putting pressure on him and the other piece that would be a target is the bishop on c8 because we already putting pressure on the bishop and uh, in that position we can see also a motive the motive of this queen being overworked in the sense that she's protecting the f7 square the rook and she's also protecting the bishop which means we could play rook takes rook and if the queen recaptures us then the bishop on c8 will become unprotected so we can capture the bishop if we click on the solution you can see the actual position that you had to visualize here and there's the solution move rook takes f7 and uh, we win a rook in the process or if the queen takes our rook then we play queen takes bishop check and win a bishop in the process okay so that was the first exercise we'll move on to the next one now right yes our second exercise for today in this position it is white's turn to move use your calculation technique and then see if you can find a tactic here for white pause the video to think about it okay so the first step is to find all the threats and uh, black is threatening to capture our bishop so we have to bear that in mind we have to do something to be sure that we don't lose the bishop in whatever we do okay the second thing we start looking at is the targets and uh, motives so it's very difficult to identify the targets in this position if you haven't already identified a motive now the motive here is the queen being on the same file as the black king means that uh, if you put a square on the d5 a piece on the d5 square then black can't really capture you else you're going to recapture with this pawn and discover a check with your queen on his king and if you understand that motive you will also understand the move sorry about that you will also understand the move bishop d5 because now this is a pin or a skewer since the more valuable pieces in front it's a skewer and black can't capture our bishop else this happens check and uh, once black moves out of check or blocks the check we get the queen black is losing material in any case because uh, if he moves the queen away then we get the rook in any case okay so that was a nice little tactic let's move on to the third one okay so in our third exercise we're going to do another visual wise example so let's see what happens in this position white played the move queen takes pawn and black blocked with the rook okay so visualize these two moves queen takes g7 check and rook f7 then use your calculation process and see if you can find a tactic for white in that position okay so let's find start by finding the threats that black has against us the problem is our queen is being attacked and that's a serious threat 
Another problem is if we move the queen away, for example, carelessly to h6, then, then black can play queen takes f3 check. Of course, the rook is going to protect the black queen now. So we have to keep in mind that uh, black has that serious threat against us. So if we can't make a threat against black that's even stronger than that, then that will mean we absolutely have to deal with the threat alone. But let's first see if this may be something we can do. With the white queen being on g7 now and the black rook on f7, the black rook would of course be a target, the king would be a target, and the queen would also be a target. And a motive you should notice here is that if the knight goes to d8, there's a possible fork, a double attack between the f7 square and the b7 square, which leads us to the idea of white playing queen takes f7, taking the rook check, winning a rook in the process, because after the king recaptures, we play knight to d8 check and then get the queen. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so in this position we see the queen can take the rook and after king takes, knight back to d8, check, and uh, gets the queen. Alright, so that was the third and final exercise for today, and uh, now we'll move on to the evaluation exercises. I'll see you there.